All right, all right, all right. It is Intuitive Empress coming to you with another message. This message is for my Tauruses for secret messages from your karmic. This is for the Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember, this is a general message. What that means is that everything may not resonate with you. Take what resonates with you. Or this might not resonate with you at all. Okay? Also, energies and time is fluid, which means I can be speaking to your past, present, or future energies. And also, it may be that I'm speaking of you or your person who is dealing with the karmic. It also mean, can mean that the person that you were dealing with was a karmic, okay? And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you are not a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, please, if it resonates, like, comment, share, all right? I do not do extendeds at this time, but if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description. So without any further ado, we are going into the reading. Your karmic is a control freak. They like to control everything, you, their environment. Control freaks come from insecurities, fear. All right, and so we have, he's worried that you're seeing other men. Okay, and I'm sorry, we had a card stick in here. It says, we bring out each other's addictions and control freaks. Yeah, if this person has some addictions, then nine times out of 10, they have control freak issues, which comes, a lot of times addictions come from insecurities, trying to fit in. Um, even insecurities that came from abuses and things that happen in people's relationships. That's not the whole reason why people become addicts. Sometimes they are trying out and testing things and they become addicts. But in this case, that is what's going on. We all signed up for this. Don't blame me. Hmm. I didn't know about you at first, but now I want to take him from you. I'll do whatever it takes to get between you two. All right, so let's talk about these energies. This is for someone who is with someone. You're not in separation because if you were in separation, this person would not be trying to take this person from you. Again, the person that you're with um, is dealing with someone who is a control freak, okay? Okay. This person brings out the addictions that your person has. We all have the a potential to have addictions. It does Addiction does not necessarily have to be to a substance. It could be to a person. Um, it could be to being right. <laughs> all kinds of things. There are all kinds of things that you can have addictions to. But in this case, I feel like that it is a substance. We're going to go in further into it to find out, Taurus. This reading is for my Tauruses. So, Taurus, um, your person is worried that you're seeing other men. This could cause them to, your person to be a control freak, whereas they're clocking when, when you go out, who you're going out with, if they don't even let you out of the house at all, Okay. It says, we all signed up for this. Don't blame me. Basically, the karmic is saying we both are adults. We're all adults in this situation. We all made our choices. So don't blame me that he's with me and he's doing the things that he's doing. I don't didn't know about you at first, but now I want to take him from you. So when your person started this relationship with this karmic, she or he thought that your person was single. Okay. They found out, of course, because if they're in a committed relationship with you or in a relationship with you where you're all living with each other, you're the main person and everything like that, then there's going to be times that this person wanted your person and couldn't because they were with you. Okay. And now that they know that you're 
in the picture, they're going to do whatever it takes to get between you two and to break y'all up because this person, this karmic wants your person, Taurus. Is there anything else that Taurus needs to know about this karmic? Does the karmic have anything else to say to the Tauruses? What does the karmic have to say to my Taurus community? Is that it? All right. It appears that that's it. All right. So we are going to go into the tea. We're going to go into the spilled tea. But there's some tea that needs to be spilled in this. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God. Wow, things came out. Give us the messages and clarity for our Tauruses with this karmic situation. This was the first card that came out that says winter. So whatever is going on, happened in winter or is going to happen, we are still in the winter months. Um, the next card that came out was spring. So whatever happened, went, happened in the winter and is spilling over into the spring, whatever you discover may happen at the end of the winter into the spring months. I've never had these cards come out back to back like this. So whatever's happening is going to happen soon. Maybe you don't even know, or maybe you suspect, but you don't know what's going on. And you're going to find out in the end of the winter or uh, into the spring or in the spring months. But whatever happened, whatever relationship that came up between the karmic and your person happened in the winter. Okay. Your person was seeking and looking and searching for something else. And then they got something else and got into a passionate relationship with someone else. What it did is it made you start to feel confined and entrapped. Now, maybe you started to feel that in the winter months and you're going to find out Taurus in the spring why your person has changed. It also could be that your person wanted a one night stand and everything like that. Um, found themselves weakened in this position with this person and now they feel confined because they cannot get out of the relationship. Take it as it resonates. But there is love in this situation um, between you and this person, unconditional and unwavering. Also, you're, the karmic feels like they're in love with your person. The karmic and you are starting to feel alone. Okay? And for some of you... Your person is trying to end this relationship with the karmic and they're feeling alone. Okay, so um, your person is ignoring the karmic and avoiding them right now, some of you. For some of you, it could be that your person is ignoring you or you feel ignored. Okay, this person is addicted to your person's sex. They're hypnotized by it, okay? And so they feel like that is they're in love. They feel like that they're the victim in this situation. You could be feeling victimized in this situation because things have changed. There will be a surprise twist of fate, and they give us a time frame. In the summertime, this surprise twist of fate is going to happen, what is the surprise twist of fate? What is the surprise twist of fate? Again, you're feeling that you're locked down. Um, at the bottom of the deck, it says gesture, proof of love, romantic efforts. Your person may start to see you pulling away, Taurus. Taurus is a very... Um, intuitive so you feel like something's off and you started pulling away and so that might be why um there is some unrequited love between your person and this karmic okay so we have um your person this karmic is feeling isolated okay 
your person could have been feeling like a player or the karmic could have been a player. Maybe because Taurus is we tend to be workaholics. Um, you were really busy in your job and your person was feeling isolated and alone. And so that's why they sought out something else. But you have to believe and have faith and pray. I feel like you are someone who is strong in your faith and you've been praying about this situation. But um, you could be seen as being materialistic because you work a lot, Taurus. And I feel like the karmic is looking at the life and the lifestyle that you have. And they feel like it is because of your person and they want that. And your person is in, entangled, okay, in this situation. He, the person, he or she was cheating, having an affair with this karmic and his karmic court feelings. Um, there is some mystery going on because, like I said, you don't really, you have an inkling, but you don't really know. And it's going to come out um, in the summertime, possibly the end of the spring. Okay, that's the spill too. All right, let me see where we are on time because I want to go into what's brewing because there's something brewing under the surface because of all of this. Wow, okay. So we have that copycat spirit. This person is really, the karmic is really trying to copy, copy you um, Taurus, because they feel like you have it all and um, your person was pillow talking about you, complaining about you, how you don't have any time. And so they're trying to be you. They're trying to be the person that's intuitive. They're trying to be the person that's successful, but I have it all and I have time for you type thing. Um, there was a lot of sex going on again. We had that with the entanglement. Um, this, um, this, uh, karmic is, is hating on you. Okay. And they're hating on you because of the betrayal of your person, revealing your uh, secrets. The situation is about to blow up. Why? Because you are investigating because things are not right. It's possible that one of them is sick. This could actually be the wild card that your person is sick and they could have made you sick um, because of something that they got from Um. The karmic. What's also going on is it seems like that this person, this karmic has some chill vibes and your person could be feeling like that you're uptight, Taurus. But something is about to explode and it may include the police. Why? Because this karmic feels like they're going to fight for what they love. OK, it says claiming with yours love is a battlefield. So this person wants to fight. This karmic wants to fight for your person. OK. And I don't know if you feel the same way that you want to fight. So I would say be careful because it could end up being an escalated situation that involves the cops. All right. For some of you, you are married to this person. Um, it says the love story once upon a time. So once upon a time, you were happy in this situation. It seemed like the happily ever, ever after story. Um, it seemed like sugar, sugar and salt look the same, but they taste drastically different. One is really sweet. One is will. Both of them actually make you thirsty, but one is sweet and one is actually bitter. If you put salt in, a, in, in coffee, it's a whole different effect than if you put sugar and you felt like you were getting sugar and you got salt. On the other hand, your person thought that they were getting sugar in the relationship with the karmic and it actually turned, it was something altogether different. Okay. Your person was 
um, fulfilling a fantasy with this karmic. And they started a private relationship with this karmic. Okay. Thinking that they were going to have fun. And they had fun in the beginning. They were keeping the karmic a secret. Okay. Ooh, got cards flying all over the place. Okay. Your person could have been doing drugs um, with this person. That's say I felt like drugs was involved earlier when it said in the cards earlier with a karmic said. We bring out each other's addictions. Okay. So there is drugs, alcohol in this situation. The wild card, it says sick, but also it has pregnancy tests. Someone's unsure if they're pregnant, they're having a pregnancy scare, and the test could be positive. So if someone is sick and there is a child on top of it, things could be exploding because of the fact that this person is not only pregnant, but they had um, caught some uh, disease, or maybe they had a disease prior to getting pregnant, and it gave your person a uh, disease, I would say get tested. Maybe you're the one that's pregnant, Taurus. I hope that is not the case. And I hope you and wish you the best of health. Yeah, they were having tantric sex, wild sex, porn stuff. She was flipping off from the, chand from the, from the chandeliers from the ceiling fan. This girl got tricks. And so she's coming in after you. She's coming for you because she feels like you're the problem. You're the reason why he does not or she does not want him or want him or her. Okay. Also this, because you see the knight in shining armor, this is just somebody going to war. Okay. And this person is coming for war for you, okay? All because of your person's betrayal and going into this person, okay? I feel like, because this is what came out, that this person is going to come, because you don't really know this person, know this person, okay? They're going to come to you as a friend, try to befriend you, and then try to betray you, to backstab you, to trade on you. This person is not to be trusted. If you have someone new coming into your life, be careful, okay? I feel like also, too, your person is coming in after you to try to protect you from this person. Both the karmic and your person need to check themselves because they are the ones that are wrong in this situation. If they want to be together or if your person wanted to step out, they should have just ended it. There's a fake apology coming for some of you. For some of you, your person that just wants to be a player. Player came out in the other set of cards. Okay. And so they're going to apologize to try to keep you. They don't hate you. The karmic does, but your person does not. Um, and they do have some feeling for you, but they want to plead a field. They want to live that fast life. And I said before that your person has some insecurities. And so they're trying to feed that insecurity. Insecurity can definitely causes this addictions and things like that. And people want to be seen. Sometimes people are addicted to attention. And I feel like that that's the case with your person. This karmic is a bugaboo. They're bugging your person. And they're going to start bugging you too. So you may need to throw out the trash. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of envy from this karmic concerning you and maybe even some envy from your person. Because again, they're attention person and you shine bright. 
you're successful in your career and it can cause them to be envious. For some of you, you already know what's going on. Hmm. For some of you, you already know what's going on. You've been acting like you don't know. For some of you, it's the karmic that knows about you. Because it says I didn't know about you at first. And they've been putting on a show for your person. Pretending like everything is okay. But they've been planning something. Planning to come after you. Planning to hurt you. Planning to destroy the relationship that you have with your person. Okay. When this person gets the information that your person doesn't want to be with them, they're not going to want to hear it. When they let them know it's not because of them, I just love my person. Um, for some of you, your person is going to be telling this karmic, whether I'm with Taurus or not, I'm not going to be with you. And they're not going to want to hear it. They really feel like you're the issue. Okay. There's some sexual protection that you need to have, even with your person. Because their their sick card was there. Okay. There's going to be a lot of drama around this. Oh boy, Taurus. Your person is trying to set the record straight with this person. This person is causing a lot of drama. They're doing stuff, watching it go down, and then gossiping about it. Okay. You're going to find evidence, makeup on your clothes, or maybe if you're a guy finding makeup that you never saw your person wear. Yeah, your person has been sleeping around um, with this person, but the person they're sleeping around with is per, 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 mm, promiscuous. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't get that off my lips. Um, they sleep around, they're a hoe, they free for all, they sleep with your man, their man, that man, any man, maybe even some women too, and vice versa if you're dealing with a guy, if a, if um, if this is a woman with a guy, he sleeps with your woman, their woman. Somebody is trying to get rid of evidence. Your per somebody's person is trying to get rid of evidence that they was with this person. Like this is a whole mess. Time is ticking on that situation. Somebody's in their feelings. I think it's the karmic in their feelings. It could be your person in their feelings. Somebody's gossiping, venting at the nail salon, talking about you to their friends. How you're just in the way, how you just won't let this person go. And they're so unhappy and they want you. I, I saw this on the bottom of the deck. I was shuffling it. But somebody is pregnant or going to be pregnant. It says new beginning. It could be a new beginning in your relationship as well. This parenting on the bottom of the deck. It says focusing on your children. You may or may not have children with this person. 
but this person is going to be a father or a mother from this karmic. There's going to be an announcement, an expression of a feeling. The karmic, again, is about to start some drama and coming to you probably with a recording, a recording of them, a recording of... Um, you know, everybody has a phone and recorded things. It could be sex. It could be a conversation that they had all because your person got caught up and got a room with this person. You may need some protection, Taurus. Okay. Your person know that they screwed up. You're going to be uh, putting your person and this karmic in their place. And your person may actually get kicked to the curb. Okay. You may be kicking this person to the curb. I'm not going to give you any advice on anything um, telling you to stay with this person or leave this person is really up to you. Um, I'm just here to reveal to you what's going on and everything and possibly give some guidance, but I cannot tell you what to do. You have to decide what you want to do. Okay. This, this, this situation is a mess. All of these, the same cards. Yes, they are. Okay. All right, Taurus, let me give you some guidance. I, I was not expecting this um, read to be so long. Give us some guidance for Taurus. Give us some guidance for Taurus. Give us some guidance for Taurus. All right, so we have expansion. You're about to pursue bigger and better endeavors, Taurus. You're stressed out, probably from your situation. So cleanse and detoxify any unnecessary commitments. And despite everything, you are going to be happy because it says new discoveries lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. So the discovery that your intuition was right. Because I feel like this person was gaslighting you, telling you that things were not what they were, were really were. And them having this relationship, and it will make you happy to know that um, not necessarily happy that you were right about them cheating, but when you decide or if you decide to kick this person to the curb like it was in the cards, it leads to your happiness and you free being free from the drama. OK, you will get recognition at work for your hard work because work did come out and you being a workaholic. That's where the expansion is coming from. You put in the work to achieve your goals and you're going to achieve those goals. Ask your angels for assistance during this time. Anything else for my Taurus is oof. All right, that's too many. Let go of your self-limiting beliefs. Negative thoughts are a roadblock to you. And you are worthy of love, Taurus. And someone will come in and love you. And you won't have to worry about the deceit. Someone that's loyal. Take the wisdom that you gain through this situation. Okay? And move on to those bigger and better things if you need to talk to a counselor because okay you may need to talk to a counselor so you can get yourself together so you can prepare for what's coming into your life and who's coming into your life because the next card that came it says past life connection someone with a heavy influence in your past is coming in i do not believe that this is the karmic I believe this is someone, I mean, the um, person that was dealing with the karmic. I do believe this is someone new. Right? Anything else? Any other words of wisdom for my Tauruses? All right. It may seem like a sacrifice now to give up your person, okay? But once you give it up, 
here's I've always been told this. Number one, you cannot be blessed if your hand is closed. You have to open your hand up, number one. Number two, you cannot get new stuff if you do not get rid of the old stuff. Okay, so you're giving up something now for a future reward because the person that you were dealing with was all in deception. They may have been obsessed. Okay, they're going to make a confession to you. Okay, after that, get some rest because there is someone coming into you and they are a, a, a soulmate. Sometimes these things come in for lessons so you can learn who you are and your value. There is a awakening, a discovery, a shift. Let go of the fear. Resolve the issues that you have for your divine counterpart. Pay attention to what is going on because you are about to manifest some things. And if you are negative, you're going to manifest those negative things. If you are positive, you're going to manifest those positive things. So make the right decisions because it's going to lead to a success and abundance. Declutter because in divine timing, things are going to happen for you. There we go, Taurus. There we go. There we go. So it may seem like everything in your life right now is falling apart um, in the love area and even in work. But just know that the divine has your back. That's why he sent me here to talk to you today. You, you're going to get this message and you're going to feel like everything is just chaotic. That's what I'm getting. But know that the divine has your back. Ask God to deliver your angels to you, your warring angels to protect you and to war for you, your angels of protection. Okay, your angels carrying your blessings and your angels to come to minister and speak to you what the divine has for you. Okay, that is all I have for you today, Taurus. And this is a, a long reading, but it was a lot going on here. Don't forget to like, comment, share and describe, subscribe. If this resonates for you, let me know. OK, you don't necessarily have to put it in the comments because this is very personal stuff, but my email intuitive empress email is out there reach out to me um if you want a personal reading you can reach out to me as well also know that i will never reach out to you for a reading first so if someone does claiming to be intuitive empress it is not me okay and i will see you the next message bye bye